Hey, 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 Wimp Snappers, this is Tortimer the Great. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Pokemon Showdown OU Battles. Um, dusting off one of my older OU teams here. I think it's probably the favorite one that I've put together, uh, at least from the past. Um, I let off with Picasso here, and uh, he sets up uh, the rocks, and he, he even did get Spore up, but uh, the... The Weavile ended up waking up after like a turn, so um, at least we got the rocks up, and so that worked out pretty well. Lumiere comes in, and uh, we get tricked into getting Flash Fire up on the Shandy Lure, uh, but we're going to switch out, bring in Gumby. Um, they're going to go with the, the Calm Mines, and uh, and Gumby's you know Dragon Resistances, as well as Decent Defenses, uh, allows it to survive. Um, and then they use the red card, which switches Gumby out and brings Lumiere back in, who's able to Choice Scarf Shadow Ball uh, their uh, Chandelure and kill it all right. So Deku comes in, um, and we're going to end up earthquaking uh, the, the the guy here. And uh, and so we're going to switch then back into Lumiere, just hoping to kill this stupid thing. Uh, but they're too good for that. They switch back out, but they're, sh um, uh, they're little... I, I, why can't I remember? It's not Shelter. It's uh, Shuckle. Shuckle. We killed Shuckle with a couple of fire blasts there, and uh, and then they brought their electrode back in. At which point I bring Duku back in, and we kind of just do this dance. Uh, he keeps using this eerie impulse, which is a move I've never heard of before, but apparently it has the opponent's special attack, and uh, and so Deku uh, is gonna again throw earthquakes up. At this point I bring in Bane, thinking well maybe they won't switch out immediately on Bane. Bane has Fire Punch though, so that's uh, that works out for us because they choose to stay in, and so he's able to kill it. Uh, so that worked out pretty nicely. Then they bring in Gex 3, um, their Superior, which Shiny Superior is actually really pretty. Uh, and it went down, and then uh, Electrovire comes in, hits Bane with a hard Electro Ball, uh, but then goes down to a Fire Punch just like its predecessor. So yeah. Uh, Bane doing some good work there cleaning up for us. Uh, we could have done it with the other guys as well, but uh, it seemed the quickest way to get it taken care of just because I figured he'd be less overtly threatening uh, as opposed to some of the other guys, so I figured they might uh, finally just sit still for a second and let me kill them. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, uh, let's jump into battle number two, shall we? Alright guys, welcome back. Um... A little mix up here, and for some reason it's showing the opponent's view as opposed to mine. So you'll see me over there in the top left, which is unusual, but or the top right rather, uh, which is unusual. Uh, but uh, hey, let's roll with it. Um, so I had let off with uh, Picasso, but with the Espeon out there, those things always have mag magic bounce. So I figured Spore and Rocks and everything I could do would end up getting bounced back. Uh, so I brought in Lumiere and was able to take it out. Uh, with a, a couple of shadow balls. Um, we did a bunch of switching in this game as well. They've got this Rotom Frost, which is really quite the tank. Um, and they blizzard Picasso when I switch him in, but we are able to land the Spore, um, which is going to allow us to, at this point, uh, throw up the rocks as they switch back in their Ludicolo. And then we get the spikes up before Ludicolo uh, is able to take down Picasso. At that point, Sherlock comes in, but that's going to force out uh, the Ludicolo, and they're going to bring their bulky Rotom Frost back in, um, which works out. Uh, at this point, they're still asleep, and I'm like, okay, well, it's Ice-type, so I'm going to use the Aura Sphere uh, and just try and get rid of this thing so I can actually attack the other Pokemon on the team. Um, so, and a couple of Aura Spheres, and that plan takes effect, and so that works out very nicely. Then they bring in their Furfrau, um... <clears throat> And they're going to throw up the Attract on Sherlock. Sherlock does fight through it and get an Aura Sphere off, at least the first time. Uh, second time, though, it's a, he's immobilized by love, so I'm going to go ahead and get him out of there. I'm going to bring in Gumby because she's one of the few females on the team and I didn't want to mess with the Attract stuff. Um, so they go for the Gig Impact, which misses, uh, and then we land the Sludge Bomb, which is going to take out Furfrau. Um, so that worked out very nicely. Hitmachan then comes in though. We throw up the Draco Meteor, which does decent enough damage, but then Gumby's gonna get one-shotted by an Ice Punch from the Hitmonchan, and, uh, and go down. Uh, at which point I bring in Sherlock, uh, we get the Air Slash off, which easily takes out the Hitmonchan, uh, and then they bring in their Mega Altaria. Um, Moonblast doesn't do much to us, but our Dazzling Gleam does a ton to them, and, uh, and so Mega Altaria is gonna go down. Uh, which leads them just with their Ludicolo, and Sherlock is able to uh, to kill Ludicolo with a couple of attacks here. 
no problem. So, uh, this team doing some good work. They usually work out pretty well for me. OU in general is just frustrating, so I... I tend to not get as attached to my OU teams as, like, my Little Cup teams. I love going, like, we did Killers on Tuesday, and I love going back to the Killers team and things like that because it's just fun. You go in there and you do some fun battles, and it's good to go. OU is sometimes more of a grind, and so I think I have less uh, fond memories of these teams, even though they seem to work out pretty well usually when I come back to them. So, whatever. Um, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you guys haven't already... Make sure, if you're planning on participating in this week's Sub Day Challenge, which is the Rainbow Challenge, go back and watch Sunday's episode, Showdown Sub Challenge. Uh, it's a new series that started out, and something else got a magic carp on it and everything. Check that out. If you have not gotten in your uh, replays yet, I'm going to kind of cut it off today. Uh, you know, you, you Friday at lunch at the absolute latest, but I like to have things kind of all recorded and up, uh, you know, ahead of time. So... Um, you know, since you guys are helping participate, obviously I'm going to give, you know, I've got to wait longer on that series to get it up, but, um, you know, Friday at lunch is the absolute latest, so if you're watching this right now on Thursday, and you're planning on doing a, uh, a, or taking part in that challenge and sending me the link to your replay, make sure to do that and get it to me as soon as possible so I can get it included in this week's, uh, this week's challenge. And if you've got any other challenges you've been thinking of and you've yet to put into the comments, feel free to do that. Um, and we'll, we'll, I'll take it into consideration for next week's challenge. So thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I've been Torment the Great, and you guys have been great. Make sure to leave those likes, comments, and subscriptions for me, guys, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one.